Hi there everybody, it's Halsey from Slim and Stylish and I'm a UK Stamping Up independent demonstrator. Today I am hopping with all of my Poodlers friends, so our team is hopping all over the place with all these different videos. Just go into the description bar below and all the links for everyone else's video will be there. And we are hopping to demonstrate the new DSPs that are available in the catalogue, which incidentally for this month are buy three, get one free. So if you're interested in that, head over to my blog but I'm just showing you some of the cool DSPs that we have now. The one I'm using to showcase today is the Twinkle Twinkle DSP, which is, let me see if I can get it for you. It's that one just there and it is beautiful. Really nice, they're 12 by 12 sheets and I'll just quickly run through, you get two of each sheet. So you get this one that I've used on this project, which is that one and the other side of it is sort of like the correlations of hearts and stars. Really cute in the new petal pink. This, oh no, that's the one we've already used. Just done that one. <laughs> I haven't got my head on today, it's too hot for me. <laughs> then we've got these gorgeous little stars done in pool party. On the other side, night and navy, very masculine, I like that one. This one here is a reverse of the pink one I've just shown you, but it's done in pool party. And the other side is lots of pastel pretty dots. Then we have this one here, which is the grey. And sea foam. I like the sea foam, it's my current favourite colour. And the stars. And an actual navy night. The one I'm going to be using today my other box is this one here and that's the other side that's going to be the outside of my box and I'm teaming it up with pretty pink not pretty pink petal pink I don't know why I want to say pretty pink we've got a powder pink and a petal pink but I keep calling it pretty pink so probably because it's pretty the box is six inches by six inches and it is an inch inch and a quarter wide so you need two pieces of DSP so I've just got one DSP and one piece of cardstock to make it thicker this here is an A4 piece cut at an A4 size so it's 21 centimeters by 21 centimeters which is eight and a quarter inches by eight and a quarter inches and this one here is about 20.8 centimeters and it is just under eight and a quarter inches and eight and a quarter inches so I don't know if you can see because it's probably not the best colours to do it on, but it is just a slight, slight fraction. Smaller than the cardstock. Okay. You need your scoring board for this and your scoring tool. And you're going to score around at one and a quarter inches. Okay. Not one and a quarter, sorry, one and an eighth inch. Did I do that one right? Yes, yeah, one and an eighth inch. So it's that one just, just there. Okay. And while you've got it out, I'm just going to do the top piece. So because this is the bit I want at the top, I'm going to turn it over. And for this, I'm going to score it at three eighths. So it's that one just there and at an inch. So I'm going to do it at both all the way round. I'm just going to put that to the side so I can go back to using the bottom and I'll just do that one up quickly. So go around with your bone folder onto all of the score lines. I'm just going to get out, just for ease for me, one of our library clips and some of our... Um, they're discontinued, they're retired, but they're the little binder clips. Those are them. Uh, these are from the party set, the birthday set. It was a, it was a party set in the seasonal catalogue. Um, 
You can get them now in the new ink colours, but I just do these to put on my box to make sure the glue sticks. I'm not really using them for the project, so I'll show you in a minute, but you just want to go around and cut it. I call this the windmill cut, I don't know what it is actually called, but it's where you turn it each time 90 degrees so that each bit comes in on each different one. I'm sorry if the light isn't very good today. I don't know whether it is or whether it isn't. I haven't actually checked. But it's really warm here in the UK at the moment. We're not used to the warm. But where I normally film is a little bit dark. Um, so I normally have about three lamps on me. And today I can't cope with three lamps. And I tried to have the fan on. But it's a bit noisy. So <laughs> it was either have a few shadows or be blown out by the fan. Um, I've gone with a couple of shadows but hopefully you can see so once you've got that done you just want to come across with your Tombow sticky strip is ideal here but um, if you've been watching any of my videos recently you'll know that I'm out and I'm waiting for some I was actually waiting for the 1st of July because we've got um, some really good offers on in July um, DSP particularly being buy three get one free um, but we've also got the new blends come back into stock and we've got some new items. Uh, so I wanted to wait to July to place my order so I could pick those up. So this is all I'm using my, um, my binder tags for. It's just to make sure everything sticks. Otherwise my videos are stuck with me just sitting there holding these waiting for them to stick. Which... I don't like to do because I don't like long, long videos. I think the people will just get bored of me sitting there holding the sides of the boxes. So I'm just going to put that to the side while it dries. I'm just going to bring in the top now. So I'm going to fold all of our score lines. So you've got the two on each side. Don't be too heavy handed with a DSP. It is thick, but at the end of the day, it's still paper, so you can't manhandle it like you manhandle our card. So just be a little delicate. <laughs> this is going to be awkward paper to cut, um, I think, just because I might not be able to show you where the score lines are because they're not showing up very clear for me. So if they're not showing up clear for me, I can't see them. Showing it very clear for you. Um, if I just grab a pen or a pencil, or a pen, there we go. No, I haven't got a pencil. Um, the score lines are like that. Okay, you want to do that on both. So you've got a tab on this end one, so that's where that is. And then you just want to notch into that this you will want to get rid of and this you will want to get rid of and just keep that bit there okay so if I just show you I think it's the light as well not helping with the score lines um, So that's what you want to do. Okay. And do it as a windmill round again, like you did the bottom. Keep turning it and doing it again. Because it's a longer box than the little ones that I normally do, I have kept the extended tab on just to make it a bit more secure. Um, you don't have to. If you're using something like Fuse or a glue gun, then it's going to stick a little bit better for you so you probably can get away with having a smaller tab it's really up to you there we go all the way around that's the final one
Okay, so you've got all your edges done. The best thing to do now is to get these stuck. So you just want to put your Tombow on each bit. Snail would actually work for this. Snail might be better because it will stick quicker and you're on DSP, so I never thought about the snail. Snail won't work on the base because it's card, but the snail will work up here on DSP. Okay. Just fold that in. I'll just have to wait for a bit longer because I've gone and done it with them. Um, Tombo, didn't I? So I'll just hold that for a second. The ribbon I'm using is the gorgeous new polka dot ribbon and the metallic edge ribbon that was in the old annual catalogue and it's still current now and it's lovely. You can either get it with a silver edge or a gold edge. I'm using the silver edge because there's grey in the paper. Now with this polka dot ribbon, all I'm doing is I'm eyeballing up where the middle of my section is. Okay, and I'm just going to grab some snail. I'm just going to stick that where I think the middle is. And then I'm going to run it all the way around my card. Like that, I wasn't very good with the middle, that's not the middle is it? It'll do for now. <laughs> and then I'm just going to, again, Let's take where the middle is on this one. Trim it before you stick it because it is hard to get your, your fingers in. Make sure it's pulled tight and just stick that down. Okay, like that. Once you've done that, grab your Tombow or your Snail, whichever one you're using. I'm going to use Tombow. Um, just because it is such a small lip on the box. It's only th three eighths of an inch, so it's a bit more flexible if I use Tombow, even if I just have to keep my fingers on it for a few seconds. Your bone fold is always helpful here as well to push it down. Run it over a couple of times and it will stick. Okay, on this end. that round in a minute as well. The same here. I like to do these um, folding in tabs on boxes when I put ribbon over them. I just think it helps keep the ribbon um, adhered into the box. I think it just makes it look a bit a bit tidier and a bit neater. Also it helps with the sturdiness of the lid. And then I'm just going to do exactly the same mirror image with the polka dot ribbon on this one as well. So I'm just going to eyeball where the middle is. Find the end of the ribbon. Stick that down there. Run it across. Okay, and again with a Tombow. Just pop that in. Fold it over. You had to look at the DSPs in the new catalogue. Which one's your favourite? Let me know, I'd be so interested. I wasn't going to buy half of them. Um, I looked at the catalogue and I thought, no, I don't really, none of them appeal to me. The Broadway bound set really did um, appeal to me. And the Share What You Love one, I, I liked that too. Um, but none of the others really shouted out to me at all. And then I did my paper shares and all the papers arrived for my paper shares, which was great. Um, and I was cutting them up and posting them to people and all of a sudden I fell in love with sweets I never really had looked at. I mean, that tropical one... They've got um, some really gorgeous bright colours in it, really nice leaves and things. And then this set, I, 
totally the opposite with the pastels, but I do like the new seafoam colour, which is this one. So um, I wasn't surprised that in the end it cooled out to me. So just bring the base over. These will be stuck now. There we go. Pop the top on. And then I'm just going to come in with the metallic edge ribbon. And what I did with this, to go at the right length, is I run it underneath because it goes all the way around. Positioned it to sort of how long I wanted it for my bow and chopped it. Don't know what that is. If you want a rough one, it's uh, 16, about 32 inches. So just halve it. Okay, like that. Turn the base of your box over and look at where the middle is. Some snail on there. And I'm just going to stick the ribbon to the snail like that. And bring that round so when I put the lid on, let's do it that way because that's the one I messed up with the middle. on and tie your bow. Okay. Spend some time folding that round. I'm, I'm not going to. I, I would do normally but because I've run out of time I don't want this to be a really long video. I'm just going to grab some scrap Whisper White and I'm using the new Treat Timestamp set here and I'm using this one here, Happy For You, at the bottom and Petal Pink, which is what I've done the card at the bottom in This is a new stamp pad so it's just a bit stiff at the moment Okay I've inked it up quite a bit because it is a very pastel colour. One and three quarter inch punch. Oh, that's fell completely on the floor. Every two seconds and I'll get it. There we go. Petal pink cardstock and the star plus punch. Grab a dimensional one on there, one on there. I'm just going to pop that on the corner of the box there, and then I'm just going to take one of the share what you love pearls, and they've got the pink just there. And I'm just going to take that one off and pop it on the side. I don't know whether. I did two on the other one. I'll do two on this one as well. If you wanted to go with some more texture, there's a slightly darker one at the top. I'm going to keep them both the same. There we go. I've only done that before I put my elbow in it. It's the first thing I do at my classes whenever anyone's finished with the ink. Put the lid on. And for this one, it had a slightly longer tail, so all I did is bent the tail underneath on both. There you go. There are my boxes to showcase this gorgeous DSP. Don't forget to check what the other ladies have done. For any of the details, head over to my blog. And if you do like any of the DSPs, just remember they're on a special offer this month and contact a demonstrator. Thanks, everybody. Bye.